Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Polly and today I'll be talking about the top 10 most affordable niche perfume that I've tried. So before we get started, I know that my next door neighbor is doing construction, so I hope it doesn't bother too much on the filming of this video. And today is kind of cold, so I'm wearing my jacket. Okay, so today video, we're gonna talk about the most affordable niche perfume that I've tried. I'm trying to aim for 100 US dollar and lower. So niche means the brand itself doesn't produce any fashion clothing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. So the first one um, for my affordable niche perfume, and I love this one. This is from Tuto Tondo Tiramisu. And this one retails for $38. 38 euros, which is equivalent to $38. Now shipping is not free, but it's not that bad either. So you could get this one for less than $50 if you buy it from a foreign website. This is really, really good. What it is, it's, it's a synthetic chocolate and vanilla scent. It does smell like tiramisu, but a synthetic tiramisu. I love pairing this with Massolari Faniglia. I love pairing this with Epico Fanny Chanel. I like pairing this with Vanille West Indies. So this one add a hint of tiramisu-like. It adds hints of chocolateness. And I really, really like it. Now, this on its own is an eau de toilet, so it doesn't last long. Performance is not that good. But I use this as a uh, fragrance to add a chocolate note, like a coffee, chocolate, tiramisu note, essentially, on my perfume. So I feel like if my perfume is a little bit too simple, I like to add this to my basic vanilla. Um, and my basic vanilla has a great performance like my Massolari Faniglia, my Fanil West Indies, my Fanny Charnel Apico, or my Mason Mataha Escapade Gourmand. Those are really good, high performing vanilla. And all I do is I just add a dash of Tuto Tondo Tiramisu and it smells so good. You could say, why don't you just use a cheaper perfume that you could find here locally? Yeah, you could do that. But I find that a lot of perfume that I tried so far, like Jessica Simpson, Fancy, as well as um, Britney Spears, those celebrity fragrances is accompanied with this metallic -y musk underneath, and I don't s smell it here. Just a simple tiramisu note, like coffee, vanilla, creme brulee, chocolate. Yeah, it just smells like tiramisu. It adds a dash of tiramisu, which I really, really love. I use this a lot. All right, so the next one, I actually don't have a full bottle in my collection, but I love it and I recommend it highly. The second one is from Sol de Janeiro from Sephora, number 71. I tried all of them. Um, my favorite is 71, which is amber and vanilla. So the notes are caramel, macadamia, white chocolate, vanilla, sea salt, and coconut nectar. The whole thing, it smells like a pretty simple amber vanilla with a little bit of a hint of nuttiness and I really 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 like it. Okay so the third one I no longer own it but I used to love it and I declutter it when I got another perfume that smells similar to this scent. I do regret decluttering it it's just that I haven't gotten to repurchasing it. So this is from Mancera. Roses Vanille. I really really love it. It's a simple rose and vanilla and performance is amazing, projection is amazing. Right now when I check on FragranceNet it's essentially for sale for $75 and that's for 125 ml with the projection and longevity it's just a no-brainer that this is a must-have. Um, I bought this and I love it and I use quite a lot of it, but I bought um, Tiziana Terence Deluxe and I decided that they both have the same scent profile, so I let go of Rose's Vanille. Um, turns out after 
trying it for a while I don't really like deluxe as much so I declutter that one as well so yeah roses vanille anything from Mancera is pretty good Mancera's holiday is pretty good Mancera's cocoa vanille is pretty good as well all right so number four this is from the um, sister company of Mancera which is Montal I love Montal fragrances the bottle is pretty lightweight I used to own this one as well, Chocolate Greedy. I really, really like it. The reason why I declutter Chocolate Greedy is because it is starting to smell pretty similar to another perfume that I have in my collection. But nonetheless, Chocolate Greedy, you could get it for $75 at Fragrance Net. This is just like a milk chocolate with nuttiness and some dried fruits underneath. I find that Chocolate Greedy is a little bit thick and it's a little bit dense and it sits close to your skin so I like pairing it with Macellari Faniglia for it to project more and I do like it um, I declutter it because it smells pretty similar to Shabbat uh, Late the Biscuit to my nose a lot of people disagree with this but to me they're pretty similar um, because of that I declutter Montal chocolate greedy, but I really like it. I am um, highly recommend it I think it's the best bang for your buck for chocolate scent and this is like a synthetic Chocolate it smells like a Nesquik like powdery chocolate Yeah, like a chocolate powder really really like it All right, so number five. This is from one of my favorite house I actually have four or five Atar collection I only have a full bottle of Atar Hayati. This is my favorite fruity berries. Um, it smells like berry sherbet. I really, really like it. This one costs $75 from Fragrance Net. The other one that I really like is Atar Crystal Love. Crystal Love is amazing as well. I have a note here. It's vanilla, milk chocolate, white musk, tonka, fruits, rose, and nutmeg. Crystal Love smells like a the subtle vanilla with a hint of chocolate. It smells like one of those simple basic vanilla, whereas Hayati is more like berry sherbet. Crystal Love is more like white chocolate with a nuttiness, with um, embery feel as well, with a hint of rose. Yeah, I really, really like that as well from Atar Collection. So number six, this is from a perfume house from Dossier. And my most recommended Dossier perfume is Fleur Narcotic. I still have it. And I also have a Fleur Narcotic here from Ex Nihilo. To me, they're spot on dupes. The way Ex Nihilo perfumes behave, or at least the Fleur Narcotic, is it's an oily scent and has a strong lychee note and peony note the formula or the scent profile is easily dupable by replica house so because of that i i find that dossier fleur narcotic is worth it it actually smells like a spot on and it has the same scent profile this one lasts way longer compared to dossier but not by much. This one lasts about like 12 hours and the worst dossier will last eight hours. So it's good enough for the price and Fleur Narcotic is very, very expensive. All right, so the next house, this is from Lutens. Um, I have Unbofani and Datura Noir, but I also like Amber Sultan. I love the, the house of Lutens. It used to be much readily available and much better price for the US but they stopped selling this in the US, but you could still find this at the discounted side, so go stock it up. I love this one. This one smells like a ambery vanilla with beeswax and a little bit of honey. Yeah, Search Lutens is one of the um, entry niche house. This one, you could still get it for $75 for 50 mil. The other entry house that I find it really, really nice is this one, a Calorphenil L'Artisan Perfumer. But L'Artisan, I looked at the website, now it retails for 195 So because of that, this one doesn't make it to this video. 
All right, so next I have this perfume that I really, really like. This is Buon Talenti. This one's slightly over $100. You can buy it from Lucky Sen for $115, I believe. Yeah, so this one smells like a um, banana. It does smell like vanilla and banana and coconut. That's what it smells like. That's not what the note says, but that's what I smell. Yeah, so if you like artificial banana scent with a lot of vanilla and coconut, get this one. And it's pretty good scent. It's a typical like Italian style vanilla, simple vanilla. I really, really like it and I highly, 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 highly recommend this one. Next is from a house that I really like and it's available in most mall in the, here in the United States. This is from Lush. Um, here I have I'm Home because this is a good chocolate, coffee, vanilla. I actually really like anything from Lush. They're all strong, they're all beast mode, they're all projecting. They're all really good for the price to be honest. And I really like Lush vanilla -y as well. It smells like a dirtier... All Lush have this DNA. They all have this dirtier, like delicious, ambery, deep vanilla. So yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend Lush. Uh, go check it out. I really like American Cream. I like um, Lush I'm Home. I like cardamom coffee. I like vanilla -y. So go go to your local last store and just check out what you like and go from there all right so last but not least this is a perfume that i used to have but i decluttered it because as i live in a place where it's hot most of the time with the exception of a few months during winter this is a beast mode i really really like the scent i highly recommend it this is Al Haramein Junon Noir. This one smells like a dupe for um, Serjov Dama Bianca. I really, really like it. I went to a phase where I stopped collecting Beast Mode perfume because it doesn't fit my lifestyle. But I do highly recommend that one and it's still really, really good. It's still high on my list. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.